Mmm, this is a caffeine breath spray. Hot! So I want to give you some Android dressing advice. So you can apply this to your own closet. We don't all have the same clothing, you know? And this might make you be able to wear things in your closet that you previously weren't able to wear because they didn't feel right to you. Or you can donate that clothing. But also this video is sponsored by Dossier. So when it starts to get a little warmer out, maybe we start to bring out our tank tops again. But maybe we don't like the way they look right i don't like the way this tank top looks by itself so light layers so you can see here i don't know if i would wear it with these jeans i showed it in a recent like short where i was wearing shorts with it i really like how that looked but light layers like this little linen shirt i've got going on can really help you add some visual interest to your outfits or make you feel maybe more comfortable with like tight fitting tank tops and things like that for me i do not like the cut of this tank top by itself don't look good on me. I just don't like it. Let me show you. <laughs> I swear these like short cropped tank tops were popularized by pretty short women and I'm, I'm not I'm not that. It's making my torso look short and my legs look long. I already have long legs. They don't need to be longer. I want a longer torso. And that's not even saying I have a short torso. I don't. But the shirt makes it look like I do. Right, so by itself, don't like this tank top. Don't want to wear it. However, this completely eliminates the problem with the crop, covering it up with a nice layer. And this just feels very comfortable to me. I like wearing it kind of like off the shoulder like this, just to give a little peek of the tank top because I like the top part a lot. I think button up shirts are really helpful for layering. They kind of give like the oversized, like over shirt look, right? But I specifically really like having the cotton linen button up in my wardrobe. I've checked online, this one is sold out. I would buy another if I could, trust me. I think linen just looks good on everyone. I'm gonna be honest. This I found very, very helpful for getting around the chest dysphoria as well because there's, a, there's kind of so much going on here that you can't tell. Like it's definitely still there, but it's, it's less pronounced than if I were just wearing the tank top by itself. This is sort of a personal note, honestly, but lately when I've been buying clothing, I've been pretty mindful of what materials it's made out of. This is shining right on my face. Oh! So whenever I'm buying clothing online, I literally look in the description, I see what it's made out of, and I try to make sure that it's like a plant-based material. Polyester is just not so good, but I still buy clothing with polyester in it, but I try to avoid it because I just don't find it as comfortable. Dossier is one of my longest running sugar mommies. I hope they're okay with me calling them that. So let's say it together now, everybody. Dossier <laughs> makes high quality luxury inspired fragrances so that you can get the scents you love at a price that doesn't break the bank and go into Sephora, sniff all your designer scents, search up the scent you like on the website and probably get a replica version. Let's see what this one is. This is inspired by Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. It's called Gourmand White Flowers. I know I've smelled this one before. I'm giving it to a friend and I kept forgetting to give it to her. So here we are. Maybe I'll keep forgetting. I love this scent so much. This one definitely smells like a bougie like flower garden that's like more herbal leaning. It's like really nice. It smells fancy is what I'm trying to say. They have masculine, feminine, and gender neutral scent categories. So you can check out, you know, like what's the vibe of the scent I'm getting. You can see all the notes. They have a ton of reviews for every scent. So you can see what other people think, if they like it, if they don't like it. And it's risk-free. So you can send the scent back if you don't like it. No questions asked. Scents are really, personal so you might not like something that i love i might not like something that you love and you get to test out your options with dossier the masculine scent from them that i always reach for like i have other masculine scents from them this is the one that i go for this is like my signature masculine scent i suppose is aquatic lime i'll have whatever it's inspired by over here i love wearing this this is also what i usually go for when i'm like going out because it just is like sexy I love it. Thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring yet another I Was Olympia video. If you want to check out Dossier, use the link in my description. It's all there for you. Yeah, uh, let's get back into it. So, shorts are becoming in season. Our legs are out. That's a challenge. One of my hacks for short shorts, which I do enjoy wearing, is big shoes. A lot of the time, if I'm feeling not the best in my short shorts, it's because I am lacking some weight by my feet, like some visual weight. So if I wear my like big Doc Martin boots with some short shorts, I'll generally feel better than if I were wearing my short shorts with like a pair of Converse or something like that, which are a pretty low profile shoe. Or if you don't like short shorts, I don't have any of this length, but if you get it something a little closer to your knee here, or 
Another style that's gonna be super in this summer, I can tell you, is a longer kind of capri length. It's not gonna be tapered whatsoever. It's gonna be baggy, capri length, and it's gonna look great. It is important that they're wide legs though. Another like spring essential, honestly summer essential for me personally, is gonna be a pair of baggy blue jeans. I prefer mid-wash denim over everything else. I think it looks good on my skin tone and just generally doesn't really go out of fashion, right? There's always mid-wash. And of course, you can always pair this with your denim jacket. Little denim on denim action. Let me just show you what this looks like with my denim jacket too. This is a very basic outfit, right? Denim jacket, denim jeans. And all of these items to me are wardrobe essentials. I want you guys to know that I was on the hunt for a denim jacket for like several months. I was looking in every thrift store that I went into and I didn't find a good one for a while. So it might be a little bit of a hunt for you, but they're a great thing to thrift. This is a pretty rugged fabric, right? And that makes it practical for a lot of spring and summer activities. I'm talking like going to the park and sitting on the ground. I actually feel like pretty comfortable sitting on the ground in jeans versus any other kind of pant. No, can't do it. Maybe cargo pants, but jeans to me are very sturdy. I can wash them. They're gonna last forever. And I don't have to worry about getting dirt on them. Whereas with a bunch of my other pants, I would be worrying about that. And I don't like having a constant low level anxiety throughout my day. Something to think about. Also FYI, I just got these jeans from a small business called Liquid Lagoon and I love them. And I just wanted to put that out there. The shape of them is incredible. Like the way it kind of like goes out and then in again in this little like oval so good because it actually looks like i have two legs and not just a bunch of fabric baggy straight leg jeans are your friend also i get a particular kind of gender euphoria just throwing this in here i get a particular kind of gender euphoria when the fabric from my jeans like bunches up up my leg a little bit or like on my shin around my shoe i love it that happens when i get a pair of jeans that are like too long for my legs, right? So a long inseam length will do that. So a lot of people tend towards lighter colors when it comes to spring and summer. And you can do that, but it's not essential. And I just want to put that out there. It personally, for me, that doesn't really fit into my personal style a lot of the time. So I don't feel good wearing light colors. Like it just isn't me so before you feel like you don't know how to dress for spring maybe because you don't want to wear light colors uh maybe think about the fact that you just don't like wearing them i feel like other people might have had this problem and i just have had to learn to accept that it's just not for me for one thing i just like dark colored clothing right for another thing i have ocd right we talked about the low level anxiety earlier if i'm wearing light colors i'm gonna be worried about getting them dirty and having to wash them and all of those things, those two things, anxiety. I have to go to a laundromat to wash my clothing, anxiety. If I have to think about that while I'm wearing the clothing, I'm not gonna have a great day. Okay, let's talk about skirts. I'm pro skirt. I have said in my videos before, you can wear a skirt androgynously. Probably should have done some definition of androgyny in this video and I didn't. So androgyny when it comes to fashion, as I've defined it on my channel before, is a mixture of feminine and masculine elements. So you can count yourself into that equation or you can not count yourself in if you don't feel like you wanna do that. So when I'm feeling like I'm in boy mode, right? The hair the look, everything. That is when wearing a skirt to me maybe feels like an androgynous choice because I'm feeling masculine, right? And a clothing item that I put on myself is maybe feminine. And by definition, that's a combo of masculine and feminine elements. So that's how sometimes I feel like I'm capable of feeling androgynous, being androgynous when I'm, uh, I, as somebody who's assigned female at birth, is wearing a skirt. Sometimes I'd be wearing a skirt in a girly way it's true, but sometimes I also be wearing it in a boy way. I recommend if you want to dip your toes in the androgynous skirt wearing, I would say like the midi length is probably the best for that. And make sure that you have a little bit of a A-line is maybe what it's called. I feel like that looks good on a lot of people, especially if you combine it with other more masculine clothing items, you're probably going to get a pretty andro look, which is what I did in this recent short. I just got this denim skirt. I haven't worn it yet because I haven't had the chance to, but I am literally so excited about it because it's just like perfect for what I want. Also it's denim. So it's very like practical for me as a piece of clothing. Sitting on the grass in a midi skirt, 
so good because you've got basically a blanket surrounding your legs and it's just perfect. Okie dokie dokie. Let's do a brief chat on accessorizing. All the usual things apply. I talked about my favorite accessories semi-recently. So this shape of glasses, wait, I'll get some sunglasses in a second, but this shape, so good. In case you didn't see my last video, I really like these sunglasses because it's a unisex shape and they're actually aren't a lot of like truly unisex sunglass shapes where there's not a gender associated with them like obviously you can wear any sunglass you want and it can be unisex right sometimes i worry that i'm sounding regressive with the way that i talk about gender right but it's really only to talk about it within the context of like how greater society often sees things so that's you know why i do that another good type of accessory for spring is like a neck scarf let me show you. This is kind of a 70s look. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the eras. I wasn't alive. This is just like a regular schmegular like satin type scarf. This one's from Parade. Turning it into a longer scarf like this by just rolling it up and tying it around your neck. Definitely doesn't really make sense with this outfit, but it's okay. This is weird, but you see what I mean. I'm talking about a scarf style like this. It'll keep the sun off your neck. You can get it wet if you so desire and it's really hot that's a great way to stay cool and then another one if you want a little extra something cute is a tie around your neck i don't have a tie my boyfriend has a tie though one second tie sorry i just don't feel like this is the best angle for me i'm gonna be honest this is regular schmegular tie i'm not saying tie it like i don't know how to tie a tie you could do that i guess wear it like kind of loosely like that's kind of a cute look but also the neck wrap look, it's just good. Around the neck, around the neck again. It's awkward with the shirt with the collar, but ignore that. I feel like this just looks so good. I wasn't sure about this look for sure before like when I wrote that idea in my notebook, but this looks good. So it has my support. I see the girlies doing this. I get it. Back to the seated position. We're doing a lot of back and forth today. Okay, most importantly, my friends, is to have fun. No, but I'm being serious. Like sometimes I'll put on an outfit and I can tell like this is a good outfit, right? I can see that. I look in the mirror and I'm like, someone would wear this and serve this look, but it's not me and I don't feel good in it. So I gotta change something. And for me, that feeling is a really good indicator that something is removed from my personal sense of style. Let's give an example. Initially when I was trying to style this tank top, I was, you know, seeing if I can maybe put it together with that denim skirt. And I put the outfit together. This is what it looked like. I was like, this is a cute outfit. Like, I really don't mind it, but it is simply not my sense of style. And so I removed the pieces from each other and I was able to style them individually in different outfits in ways that I actually genuinely really liked. And I did feel like reflected my personal sense of style. And that is one of the reasons why I advocate for like when you're trying to pick out an outfit, like pick a piece that you want to wear and style around it. And just because an outfit is good and you can tell that doesn't mean you have to wear it That's where the personal sense of style comes in and that's also where a little bit of the like gender things come in I can sometimes tell an outfit is like a good outfit But I wouldn't personally wear it because it just doesn't feel like me in terms of my gender So yeah side note I wore this sequin jacket the first time To an event that I went to I've not talked about this jacket yet on my youtube channel it's absurd. I didn't think I would ever have a reason to wear it, and I did. And I felt great in it. And I live in New York City. Everyone's staring at me. And somebody filmed me on the subway platform. If you have any personal style questions or advice, you know what to do. Thank you so much, Chelsea, for sponsoring today's video. You guys know to click the link. I don't have to say it again, but I say it again anyway. And I will see you in the next one.